Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. And last episode we left off... Oh yeah, we were we were coming over here and we were making our copper smeltery area. We were beginning work on that. And we were also making some train tracks, it seems. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. You can't just place them down like that. Like you used to, I guess. So yeah, we are... <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of blinked out there, apparently. So yeah, I'm just basically trying to get through and build this uh, this track here. So we'll have our, uh, our copper loop. We're basically going to set it up very similarly to our iron smeltery. It's just going to be reversed because, you know, it's clockwise. Or clockwise, the other way. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get that out there. Just going to have to wait on our bots. There we go. Come back, bots. Come back. Okay, so our technology finished, it seems. So once again, just clicking through until I find something... Ooh, interesting. Okay, alien technology and atomic disassembler. That's going to be crazy. Okay, so we will have trains running through here. We have stuff going out that way, and we'll have stuff going out this way. It seems to me what I need is a blueprint of uh, how I've got my train set up over here. And then we can just flip it around. It should work out nicely, actually. I'm hoping, at least... We'll have to reverse our belts and everything, but it'll be fine. Question is, can we put a filter on our selection? So I think I'm going to do my outer loop as this. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of a ridiculous, ridiculous build, but it'll be fine. a little far. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be kind of ridiculous. I don't mind though. At least get our first few stations down. Yep. Oh man, that's this is gonna take a little bit for my bots. I believe in my bots though. I think I think they'll be alright. And it looks like we need more lights, but I've not built any. So let's see here. Let's make a few of those. Let's get rid of those since 70 is plenty. We'll put down more lights. Actually, it's almost done. We can put one more down soon. There we go. I didn't have to wait too long. Put that there. Now we can see. Okay. All right, just a moment. I think I need to adjust my chair. I tried a different, uh, a different orientation. But, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit too far back. Felt like I was in a recliner there. Okay, we'll get back over here to our copper. And then flip this around. Yeah. But instead of going down, they will go up. And it looks like we're going to have issues with the way I've placed my power poles. So I'll go ahead and get rid of these. Hmm. Getting some frame rate issues here. Very strange. It's probably because I'm loading this <laughs> big blueprint back and forth. Alright, that should should work. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these before my bots get a chance to build them. There we go. Now I do want these built, I just want them to go the other direction. And probably closer since uh 
stuff being dropped off further down will want to come out to the, the side. If that makes any sense. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, I think those will work out nice. Robots don't fail me now. <laughs> yeah, this is the point where uh, having more bots would be handy, but that's what we're working on. I mean, I've scaled this stuff up pretty, pretty substantially. So there's going to be a little bit of an intermediate lag, I guess, with how quickly my bots are going to be able to build things. Okay, I really don't want to just stand here and have you guys watch me lay all this down. So uh, I think I'm going to cut, and then once my bots have built all this out, we will... I'll join you again, and uh, we will continue from there. Alright, and we're back. I've got pretty much everything built here except for this one little station. And it seems like we're out of some, uh, some signals and some fast inserters. So I'll go ahead and get a few of those made. Let's get maybe like a couple hundred queued up here, because that will go pretty quick. Actually, I don't... <laughs> can't keep up with it so yeah let's just do that and then uh, actually let's kill all these that require fast sensors we can pick up fast sensors and not waste all those materials uh, what else signals I said signals let's go ahead and make maybe a hundred or so of those just so we'll have them yeah should be good How are we doing on furnaces? 246. Still doing quite well. Now, basically, I'm trying to mirror this. What? What, what are you guys missing? Oh, lights. Yeah. I missed those, apparently, up there. So, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mirror the iron ore, excuse me, the iron uh, production, iron plate production. The uh, the only thing is, is um, uh, our production is going to be on top, just like this is. So basically I want to do something very similar to this, but the only difference is uh, these trains are pointing south and these trains will be pointing north. So should be should be alright to uh, mirror it. So that way we will be able to have our coal come through here. Our ore through here, and our plates going in there. So it should work out nicely. Should, I say. Whether it will or not, we'll find out. <laughs> okay, so uh, during the cut, we got our research, so let's go ahead and grab that. To see what we have available to us. So we're not quite to, uh, I mean, we could technically do the purples, I think. Because we do have some research, but I'm not doing that just yet. Um, yeah, let's uh, start working on our bullet stuff, because I know, I know we are soon going to need stuff. Of course I say that, and there's like two blips on the map of biters. But hey, they, they will come. If you bite it, they will come. <laughs> what? Doesn't make any sense. Apparently I'm a little delirious right now. I've been recording videos all day. All right, let's go ahead and put down some trains here. And I probably should rename all of my stations here as well. So one there, one there. And I should probably also connect up the power because that seems to be a thing that needs to happen. I don't really like the zigzag look of this. No, oh, really? Just by like the one? Oh man. Alright, we can we can do something about that. There we go. How are we doing on power? So far so good. I don't know why my alert alerted me <laughs> a little while back. Alright, looks like we are out of cargo wagons, which we have. We have the materials for. And I'm going to limit these to two, just like normal. Just to get started. Can I shift right click? Well, no. Okay. 
There we go. And then shift, shift. There we go. Okay, we're good. And then what about these? These should have carried over the filters and they didn't? Or did I intentionally leave those open? I may have intentionally left those open. I think I did, actually. Alright, so it looks like now we're going to have two trains coming in and grabbing coal. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Or actually, let's, let's name our stations first before we get ahead of ourselves. So this is going to be copper plates. Keeping our naming conventions. Uh, coal drop off. Oh, I can't type off one. Yes, in case we have other drop offs of the coal variety for the copper plates. And that was loud. <laughs> okay, bullet damage, bullet damage. Yeah, let's just keep going for that. Okay, so we have that now. This will be copper plates or drop off. <laughs> Sir Bubblut. I love these. Copper plates. Copper or I guess that's redundant, but it works. Drop off one. Okay. And then this of course is going to be the plate pickup. So copper plates. Copper plate pickup one. Now does that follow naming conventions? Iron ore drop off. I don't think. It doesn't look like I named the other one on the other side properly. But it's fine though. Okay, so we'll just leave that there for storage because that will need stuff. <laughs> Descriptive, I know. Okay, let's see here. Um, we want to go ahead and do coal pickup one until inventory full or or an activity for five seconds. Okay, that works. And then we are going to go to copper plates, coal drop off one until inventory is empty. Then we're gonna go ahead and save this as copper plates, coal supply. We're gonna refuel and save as line. And then of course mark refuel again because for some reason that doesn't carry over it seems. Or I'm, I'm not understanding that properly. It's one or the other. What is this rules thing? I've never fully understood this. So maybe I'll look into that at a later time. Did I mess that up? I did not. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy going. So if everything works out, he should just go right here. Not on the map, but the place under the map. Yes, right there. Indeed, right there. And I don't understand why I'm having frame rate issues. I should not be. And I realize that there should be a light here too. In case the other train comes through. Hence why I'm doing this. And should be able to grab from there. But it's full anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. So once that's done, it will bring it back over here and drop stuff off. And it will be good to go. So yeah, I really, I really don't understand what's going on with my frame rate. So you guys, if you don't mind, just bear with it with this episode. And in between episodes, I will make sure to check and see what's going on. And hopefully next episode, any of these little spikes we're getting will, uh, will be taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these trees. And then I'm going to use my targeted deconstruction planner to only grab trees. Let's go ahead and just like that. Good. Good. Okay. So then, will that run? Well, that's going to run into the track, but will that reach? It will not. So how long, how far can we do this? That will not reach. That should reach. There we go. Okay, so this is as close as we can put four. Oh, 
All right, so we have our coal supply now. We're basically going to copy the same thing using our bots because it's awesome. Should be able to just do it like that. Should be. Maybe not, but should be able to. Okay, how about... Oh yeah, that's that's not lined up at all properly. That would go there, but that's not how this is set up. Wait, maybe it is, it's just I'm not seeing this right. I mean, it should be the same setup, I believe. Let me just get rid of those guys. Yeah, there we go, that's all it was. Oh, uh, what'd I do? I think there's the tree in the way. There we go, much, much better. If I want to be really spiffy, what I'll do is I'll go over and copy the entire bank <laughs> of uh, smelters for the iron thing, flip it, and then come back. I think I might actually do that. And then these, I guess. I'll worry about those later. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, our bots aren't super fast or super numerous just yet. But they are better than they were a long time ago. And we have them. And uh, it would just take less time just to go ahead and do the blueprints. And plus it'll be all awesome and symmetrical on each side. And as I build out, I can just go in either direction. Okay. So yes, the only thing I'm going to see there might be, well, you know what? If I just copy above where the lights are, it should be perfectly fine. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to, yes, that's what I want to do. And once again, no, that's not what I want to do. All right, so what I want to do is come from this side, now that I'm thinking through it. Grab all that. Oh man, this is going to be ridiculous. And I'm going to have to run all my copper ore down from up north in our early starting base here. Yeah, we could still extend this out further because it's not fully utilized. But we have a decent amount of iron plates being created early on. I mean, you got to remember, this is still early even though I'm trying to build big. So as we need production ramped up, we will absolutely ramp it up. But uh, just trying to get the infrastructure build out to start with. Let's get off the track. Alright, and then let's do our fancy here. Oh, Alt-R. Okay, there's a hotkey. That's, that's pretty awesome. And then, how did that line up? That lined up differently. Oh, okay, because it would have... It would have went to the other side. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We can we can work with that. We can still work with this. I mean, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, but... Now, is that going to run into anything up here? I don't think it will. Except for trees. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So let's go ahead and uh, put this down like this. And then we will get this part figured out down here. This doesn't have to be perfect. Thank you, autosave. Okay, let's go ahead and get these transport belts fixed or placed down. I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm adjusting audio in my headset. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I'm not helping at all. I just realized that <laughs> the top four rows are supposed to go the other way. Apparently I'm delirious right now.
So that's kind of hilarious. Okay, oops. Almost. Oh, and we ran out of light. Okay. I can fix that. I can do it. I know I can. I guess I'm gonna have to run that down. Oh, that's really bad. That's that's not lined up at all. We will clean that up as we go though. Okay, tree, we don't need you. Almost got this section built. And then we'll start worrying about getting our stuff going in the actual smeltery. Okay, bullet damage seems to have completed. Let's continue. Bullet shooting speed. We'll not turn that down. Okay, we are running our routes kind of hard. But I think we can build this. And that'll be just enough before they start needing to charge up. I think it's getting to be daylight too. Yeah, it's starting to fill back up. I think we're good. <laughs> I love being able to chop down trees from a distance. It's like Jedi mind axing. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of time it seems. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, and then when this is done, I'll, uh, I'll meet you on the other side. Alright, and we're back. We're almost done with, uh, this build here. There are some things that I need to build manually. Some fast long inserters and some electric poles. And then, uh, once we do that, we'll have our iron, uh, excuse me, our copper smeltery set up. And then we'll just need to run some ore down along with this. Okay. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these. See how am I doing on... We have 731, that should be fine. And then what was the other thing? I needed electric poles, but that requires steel. Oh, yeah, and while we were away, our shooting speed thing researched properly. All right, grenades. Yay, explodey stuff. Okay, let's get rid of our planner there, or whatever that is. Okay, um, steel, right. <laughs> I blinked out there for a moment. Couldn't remember what I needed. Should be good. Let's uh, go ahead and make all those, because we will eventually need them. And then also, also, fast long inserters. Which I need iron for. Whoops. <laughs> and what about gears? Do we have gears? We don't have gears. Let's grab gears, because gears are there. What about plates? We also have copper plates. We're good there. Uh, circuits. We are good on circuits. You know, so we're, since we're up here, might as well stock up, right? Yep, I think we're good. You know, that frame rate thing's driving me nuts. Alright, let's go ahead and put down our extra bits and bobs. Should be able to reach both sides from here. Thank you, auto save. Oh, you know, I didn't make my uh, <laughs> my fast long inserters. Let's go ahead and get a few of those done, and then let's go ahead and cancel the rest of these electric poles, and then build them afterwards. There we go. Looks like we need to make some regular fast things as well. So we're gonna make a bunch of those, because we definitely need them. Yeah, I, I just now queued up. <laughs> like, two, two thousand. Let's get rid of the eight. All that. Yeah, that should work. That should be a, enough for a while. 
All right, it seems like uh, we are well on our way to having copper smeltery set up. Um, so I guess uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode now. And the next episode, we will go ahead and work on getting some ore into here. And uh, we'll have a nice, a nice bit of uh, smeltery going on, both with copper and iron. So guys, um, if you're enjoying this, let me know down in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.